Hi, pony people! It's me again, <laughs> the group creator of My Little Pony and Items, plus loads of other 80s and 90s toys I keep finding. Um, about to change the name, we're trying to incorporate more toys because we've branched out quite a lot. Anyway, today I want to discuss a couple of toys I've found lately in Smith's Toy Shop, and I'm thinking they're pretty cool. I really like them. First of all, I've got Crystal Surprise Babies. They remind me of something I had as a kid and I cannot think what it was at all. Um, so this is Series 1 and I'm just going to open one up. So I love the fact that they've put them in a little plastic packet so you can't like feel them through the bag. Like, So it's making it harder. Now this is so cute. I've got a little, little red creature. I don't know what it is. So I'll have a look at the little... Um, collector's leaflet and I'm like okay I'm going with beams I'm a lion these little things are like lucky charms he's like my lucky dignity I think they're precious I already got a few more that I've been that way <laughs> secretly like harboring my affection for these little sparkly things they're really cute they do bigger sizes and they're not blind bags in the bigger sizes but I kind of like the little ones more. I think they're cuter. I really just... Who doesn't like small, shiny animals? <laughs> Especially if you're from the 80s. So, the next thing I want to talk about is twosies. I came across these in Smith's Toys again. I love Smith's. <laughs> Send me lots of free stuff, Smith's. I love you. Um, they reminded me, because this is a blind box, but they had other stuff as well. They had, like, packs with play sets and more characters and what have you and I thought yeah I'm I'm not really a fan of like babies but okay I'm gonna try it because they reminded me of oodles if anybody remembers oodles were definitely born in my era I know my friend Emma Spicer will and uh, shout out to you girl props so I'm gonna just open this one so I'll uh, do it off screen with my my very safe mechanism uh, quite easy to get out well that's quite cute you get a little storage box which is obviously the packet looks a bit like a telly it's got a little picture in the back and uh, this is <laughs> I'm gonna get that wrong all the time um, and then you get oops, you get to drop it you get two little yellow packets so the first one will be the baby which is a little kid as a lion and these are made by moose and I really love this company moose they make the cutest smallest little collectible things they certainly know how to take my money from me so the other path from what I believe would be a little animal but will it match no it won't and I have no idea what kind of animal that is I'm going hamster maybe but it's so cute so you get to go as the box says find and match baby and pet friends so you obviously get a baby and a pet in each blind pack and if you're lucky you'll match them i do know from reading the bump on the pack that they do special editions obviously everybody does um, and i believe they were neon ones let me just double check um i don't know where i read that because it's on there somewhere but i do know that the like the special rares the secret rares were like a neon toy so i'm like okay i love them um another toy i've been harboring my love for for many many months is these little chubby puppies and friends because there's a bunny there's a chubby chubby bunny who doesn't love bunnies and puppies and i do know they do cats well this is the first wave and i'll be honest nearly completed it including all the play sets i've been loving them for a while well they've brought out now the start of series two which are looking amazing they're chubby puppies with puppies and they're also doing ponies and they've done like secret rares again um the secret rares from the first two was um a lavender labrador and a minty short haired kitty and they're gorgeous and um, i believe the second series is going to be like a blue cocker spaniel. Don't quote me on that. I cannot remember. Um, and I believe there's a bear as well. Um, 
yes, I need them all. Um, it's that simple. I have to have those in my life. There's another thing I've been collecting, and oh, it's totes and maizables. Let me just completely reach off screen because I bought this huge one. No mini pack here. This is the new thing from Shopkins. Again, another favourite of Moose. I love Moose. This is the little place at house. It's awesome. I have been slowly working on my collection of homewares because let me just reach in and show you items from the kitty kitchen. All the rooms are based on animals. The kitchen is kitty kitchen. They have little cat faces on the chair. They're adorable. I must show you the slice of toast in the toaster. Here's the toaster. Take out the toast. It's cute. The, yeah, I did it again. <laughs> there is no denying the cuteness of this slice of bread. Um, they've done a bunny bathroom set. There's a puppy parlour. So, like your living room for people who don't call it a parlour. And um, they've done a dreamy bear bedroom set. Um, they do the little bowls in the sets. This is, I believe her name is Cookie Summer, or something Cookie, and she's from the Kitty Kitchen selection. I am loving these because they come with their own little base, so you can just pop them on there and they stand perfectly then. then. And I love that. They've, they've really thought of everything. I'm really, really, really pleased with that. So, at the moment... I'm loving all the toys ever. I'm loving the throwback ideas from 80s and 90s. I think great. Um, we've seen so far the return of Puppy Surprise, which is amazing, and barely changed the design at all because it's perfect. Why bother? We've seen Cupcake Girls, and <laughs> again, they don't need to change it. Don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We've had Care Bears come back. Obviously, ponies are back. I think, at the moment, the world is heading in the right way for toys. I am really, really, really excited about what's going to be coming next. Um, more importantly, I'm excited about Pony Farm, which is less than two months away now. Um, for any of you coming to Pony Farm, I will be there all weekend. I have a stall. And come and say hi. We'll have a chat. We'll discuss toys. Show me your collections. And let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time I find something else exciting in the toy shop. See you later, guys. Bye.